Hi friends, this is Suzanne Alexandria with a life is short message. A life is short short. I'm at one of my favorite sacred spots. I've been blessed to live near this statue of St. Francis for about six years now and I walk up here very often. You can see the Rocky Mountains in the background and it's so blissful. But I've come here a lot of times to get down on my knees and say, help me, <laughs> please help me. And you might be needing that too. So the message today is about the very power of intentional prayer. And you know, this prayer of St. Francis, there's no messing around. It says, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is doubt, faith. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. And my understanding of dying is, you know, we die many times during these lives even. Things within us have to die in order to make new light. So where do you need some new light today? And how do you pray for that? That's the message from this channel with our beautiful, blissful Council of Love. How do you pray? Because what I've been taught is that it's essential to pray with intention and to get really, really, really friggin clear on what you want, what's your ask? Like that, that, that prayer isn't messing around. It is saying, it's very direct. Make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is injury, let me sow love or pardon. So I've learned it's really critical in terms of co-creating my life, our lives, to be really clear about how we ask. And in my darkest nights and days, I have, I've come to this very place many, many times to say, show me, show me, show me, show me. I don't know how to figure this out. I don't know what to do. Make it clear, please, God, spirit, angels, make it really clear because I cannot see it. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to respond. And I found that that's one of the best ways to uh, then open myself, crack open my intuition, my heart, my vision, my understanding. And sooner or later, the answer comes. Sometimes it comes, you know, as I walk away and I walk down back the path. But a lot of times it comes days later or in a message or in a book that I read or someone calls me and gives me the message or I wake up after a dream and know it. But you know, it's, it's because I ask very, very clearly that I get clear answers. And that's our biggest message today. How clearly are you asking? And maybe if you're not clearly asking, it's because you're not even clear what you want to ask for. But the key is in being clear. Mm, look at that. Beautiful St. Francis. He's a brother. What do you want to ask for? How clearly are you willing to ask for it? And how clear are you to be able to allow the answer or the gift or the bounty or the, the response that you actually want? We hope you're there. We hope that is your way. Until next time, thanks for listening to this Life is Short Short. Namaste.